Since the beginning of this pandemic, there have been numerous ideas about the weather and our environment naturally decreasing the spread of COVID-19. And while in most cases, research is in its early stages, health experts continue to provide insights to keep the public as safe and informed as possible. Scientists from the University of California recently claimed that people should dilute virus particles indoors by letting fresh summer air into their home. Yeah, open your windows in the summertime. You know, it's not going to be the major player in reducing the infections. We remember that uh, COVID-19 is spread through droplets. Circulation is important, but it's a minor part of the equation. Meanwhile, an MIT study confirmed many things previously thought about viruses and weather. For example, that the virus has a less effective airborne nature at higher absolute humidity levels, and that heat also plays a role in breaking down the lipid layer of the virus, essentially its outer protective coating. Viruses like SARS coronavirus 2 are enveloped viruses. And so they're, the outside part of the virus is composed of these lipids, which is fluid and moist. And so the cold air helps those particles to hold together better than the hot, humid air, which causes them to transmit less efficiently and can also dry them out. An easy way of thinking of it is like they basically dry up. Even though history and research are both encouraging, we should not expect summer to be the cure. Definitely waiting for the weather to make a big difference is not a substitute for things like uh, right now, physical distancing, hand washing, those things are still going to be just as important going forward. With so much information being exchanged about weather and COVID, the World Health Organization is now busting myths. They're telling people exposing yourself to sun or to temperatures higher than 25 degrees Celsius does not prevent COVID-19. You can catch the virus no matter how sunny or how hot the weather is. They also added that this virus has been transmitted in all areas, even hot and humid places. For example, we have seen this to be true in Singapore, a place with year-round humidity and warmth. This should urge researchers to continue the questioning on the impacts the climate has on this specific virus. This should also speak to Canadians as we approach our warmest, most humid time of the year. We all need to remember that human behavior is what will ultimately impact the spread of the virus.